Mission Director Chet Lee from the Manned Spacecraft Center in Houston says we are go for launch and the range indicates the range is ready to support. Chill down of the S-4B stage. Chill down of the S-4B stage being completed at this time. The S-4B will ignite into the mission at 9 minutes 22 seconds. Swing arm number 9 now is retracting to the full retract position. Swing arm number 9 coming back to the full retract position. And the director of launch operations, Walt Caprian, has given Apollo 13 a go for launch. We're now approaching the four-minute mark. At the T-minus four-minute mark, we'll be standing by for Jack Baltar, the launch vehicle test conductor, to say that his launch vehicle team is ready to carry out the final phase here of the countdown. At the T-minus three-minute, seven-second mark, we will get the ignition sequence start. This will put us on an automatic sequencer, and the remainder of the count from that time will be on automatic. The sequencer can check out literally hundreds of items in the space vehicle. At the same time, the team here in the Launch Control Center will be monitoring red line values. These are such things as temperatures and pressures, which we do not want to either go above or below. A final communications check now. The astronauts on the Astrocom circuit and Launch Operations Manager Paul Donnelly, during his final check, said, good luck, head for the hills. He was referring to the Frau Mauro, hilly Frau Mauro region of the moon. We come up on the T-minus three-minute mark at three minutes. The capsule communicator, Paul White, will begin reading out the minus time to the crew. <clears throat> Looking up at our status board now, we can see that the uh, spacecraft, or the uh, first stage preparations are now complete. The firing command has now been initiated. This is the automatic sequencer, and we have a confirmation on our status board that the launch, launch sequence has started. We're now in our final three minutes of the countdown. Two minutes, 56 seconds, and Apollo 13 continues to be go. The astronauts still reporting back from the spacecraft Odyssey. Spacecraft Commander Jim Lovell says Odyssey is go. He will be the last one to uh, perform a uh, function here during the countdown at the T-minus 45 second mark. The Commander Jim Lovell will set the final alignment of the spacecraft guidance. That's the last crew action before the uh, liftoff of Apollo 13. We continue to aim for a liftoff at 2.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now T-minus 2 minutes, 18 seconds and counting, and our count continues to look good. Our weather is no constraint to launch today. Earlier fears about the weather uh, seem to have dissipated. A stationary front over the Florida-Georgia border has not sent down the predicted bad weather that we had feared. We just passed the two-minute mark, just passed the two-minute mark in the countdown, and the pressurization now of the vehicle tanks is beginning. The third stage liquid oxygen tank has now been pressurized, and the second stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized. We'll be making our final transfer from external power source, that is from the external power source at the pad, to the launch vehicle batteries at the T-minus 50-second mark. We'll be keeping an eye on that power transfer at T-minus 50 seconds. The S-4B propellants, now all pressurized. S-4B propellants, that's the third stage of the Saturn V pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds, and counting. The spacecraft equipment now is on its own internal cooling. It's been uh, sharing its cooling from it, getting its cooling from an external power source up to this time. We're now approaching the T-minus one minute mark. T-minus one minute, T-minus one minute, and counting. Now in the final minute of our countdown, at the 30-second mark, swing arm number one will retract. T-minus 50 seconds. As we pass the T-minus 50-second mark, the power transfer takes place. First stage, second stage, third stage, and the instrument unit going to internal power. T-minus 37 seconds, and our count continues to go well. We'll be looking for an ignition of those five first stage engines at the T-minus 8.9 second mark. We've passed T-minus 30, T-minus 25 seconds, and counting, and Apollo 13 is go. T-minus 20 seconds, T-minus 20 seconds, and counting. 17, guidance release, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have come in and we have lift off at 
downrange one mile. All sources continue to report where go. The trajectory on our plot boards is right on the pre-planned -pre line. And the booster engineer reports we're now through the region of maximum dynamic pressure and we're go. Altitude now 17 miles coming up on staging. Jim Lovell reports the inboard engine has shut down as scheduled. We confirm inboard out 13, you're looking good. Roger. Coming up on 30 miles altitude. Test to ignition. Roger. Thirteen Houston, trajectory's good, thrust is good. Roger. Capcom Joe Kerwin confirming to the crew that the second stage looks good at this point. We're now 46 miles high, 70 miles, 78 miles downrange. Skirt. Tower jet. We confirm skirt set. Roger, tower jet. Mode 2, Jim, looking good. Mode 2. Launch vehicle. And level reports that the guidance system is correcting the small errors. 13 Houston, guidance is good and the CMC is go. Okay, thank you. 13, Joe. Roger. Coming up now on four minutes. We're now at an altitude of 63 miles. Four minutes, 15 seconds, the tra trajectory. In your go at four minutes, so little red lines are right on the little white lines down here. Sounds good. Velocity up now to 11,000 feet per second. That's about 36% of the amount needed for a minimum orbit. We're now 75 miles in altitude. Two hundred twenty-two miles downrange now. The uh, ECOM reports. Not five minutes. You're looking perfect. Over. Thirteen, Roger. And our ECOM reports that the cabin pressure is sealed at six point one pounds, which is normal. Uh, we're now two hundred fifty miles downrange, altitude eighty-one nautical miles. And at 5 minutes 30 seconds into the launch, we continue to look very good on the second stage. Thirteen Houston, stand by for S4B to COI capability. S4B to COI, Roger. Roger, you've got it now, Jim. We've got S4B to COI. Your go at 6 minutes 13. Go at 6.
for S4B to orbit. Mark, you have S4B to orbit, Jim. Roger, we have S4B to orbit. We show an altitude of 96 nautical miles, 545 downrange. Jim Lovell just reported the inboard engine is shut down as scheduled. at 7 minutes 45 seconds. Booster reports we are go. Houston looking good at 8 minutes. 13, Roger. your go, the CMC is go. Okay, Joe. 13, Roger. Apollo 13, Houston, stand by for mode 4 capability. Mark, you have mode 4, Jim. Mode 4, Roger. Staging. And level report staging. And S4 ignition, Houston. Roger that, Jim. Thrust looks good. Roger. Houston, you're looking good. Trajectory, guidance, CMC are all go. Thank you, Joe. And at 10 minutes, 30 seconds, we are now 102 miles in altitude, 1,080 miles downrange. Houston, your go at 11 and a half. We're standing by now for a crew report of third stage shutdown. Seco. Copy Seco, Jim. We're looking at the disky. Roger. And the flight dynamics officer says at first glance we look good on the orbit.
Apollo 13 Houston, you have a go orbit all sources and the booster is safe, over. Go orbit and the booster is safe. Thank you, Joe. Don't mention it. Houston, we copy your ground 44. Yep. Okay, Joe. The booster engineer reports at this time that the S4B third stage looks good. Uh, being configured now for orbital operations. We're standing by for a confirmation from the Flight Dynamics Officer of our preliminary orbit. Apollo 13 Houston, uh, your preliminary orbit down here is 102.5 times 100.3 and everything is looking good. Roger, Houston, and that looks good to be up here again. I'll bet.